Today's blog entry has a lot to do with many, many, many emails I've gotten over the years in regards to questions about the Mark of the Beast. And uh, it, it, it became obvious that many people read Bibles today, but next to no one understands what they read because they don't study their Bibles. I mean, you simply can't read a Bible like you do a menu at a restaurant or the instructions on how to build some cheap furniture. Now, yes, you can get something out of reading the Bible that way, and this is how most people do, in fact, find Jesus as Lord. That's what I like to call milky reading of the Word, but once you find Jesus, you get to know Him and His Word, and it becomes more deeply known to you with each passing day, if, in fact, you read His Word every day like you should. And as you grow closer to him, you start to see things in his word you missed when you read it before, because you know, as it's stated in Isaiah 28, 9, you're starting to understand doctrine as a child that is weaned from the milk. You know, this is also why Paul said what he did in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, which was, I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. And so as you can see, some areas of the Bible are easy to understand, for, you, know, you know, enough for a babe in Christ to grasp so as to find their Savior. But other areas are only opened up to them that study their Bibles so as to get to the meat of the Word of God to grow spiritually. But look around. We are literally in the last days wherein most only read the Bible as if they're building a cheap piece of furniture so as to get it over with quickly. They don't really care. They, they, they read it because they feel it's their duty. But their busy lifestyle or simple laziness has become very effective in getting some of these people to cripple their own faith. They have become their own worst enemy. This is nothing new, as it was something Paul touched on when he said what he did long ago in Hebrews chapter 5. He said this, for when, for a time, you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And so like today, the Christians of old, they got lazy, and they never grew to understand the word of God. And this is why Paul had to say what he said. I mean, lazy or busy people are simply incapable of understanding Scripture because, number one, they won't take the time to read it properly. And number two, in so doing, you know, being lazy, they fall into the trap of trusting their pastors to do all the reading for them, who in turn cannot understand the Word of God either, simply because of their disobedience and everything from the agreement to join hands with the beast in Rome to keep the pagan Sunday Sabbath to joining hands with the USA, which is in fact the second beast of Revelation, so as to create an image to the first beast by signing the 501c3 contract with the second beast. And this is why most in the world including those pastors, are all going to receive the mark of the beast. For example, most in the churches today believe the mark is either a tattoo or a computer chip because just as it is impossible to understand doctrine without being weaned by milky scripture, one cannot understand prophetic symbolism until weaned here as well. For if you only read the Bible on the surface, wherein most of the milk resides, you will think the mark is literally in the flesh, you know, like a tattoo or a computer chip. But if you study how prophetic symbols are defined in Scripture, you will find the mark in the right hand means in reality that you accepted the mark so as to prevent losing your business or losing your job. And for those that receive the mark in their forehead, well, they are those that didn't have to be forced, you know, with losing their ability to buy and sell or their jobs or their business because they received the mark in the forehead which means in prophecy that they openly agreed to accept the mark of the beast. And for those of you that are still a little bit confused about all this, if you want to see an in-depth study on this, as well as a bunch of videos, which have all the Bible verses with their points of interest underlined to make it easy to understand that it literally says in scriptures that the prophecy about the right hand means your ability to buy and sell, and the prophecy about the forehead means your ability to make decisions, see my Mark of the Beast page when you get time. Thank you for watching. God bless.